Last episode was emotional, dramatic, sad, a bit of everything. Will this episode be a bit more chill? Let's find out. Okay, so the big red guy disappeared. That's all. And ah, uh, it's Hua Yun. She finally reveals that there's more to her than meets the eye. She is just so suspicious. Is he she? She is the one who told Kun to keep an eye on Ho. Interesting. How did she know? And of course, Kun is sad. Sad that things didn't work out perfectly. Ho died, and Rachel still got injured, even though he did everything he could to stop it. And oh my god, it is Little Rack. Oh yes. Oh Nelly, I've been waiting for this. Yu Hansung made him small. Yes, Yu Hansung, you awesome guy, you. And Rachel can't walk anymore. She really is zombie Linda after all. I mean, zombie Rachel. And Bam wants to basically be her legs and take her up the tower. He reminds Kun of himself when he was in love with that mysterious other Kun woman. So he agrees to help Bam. And then we get a funeral for Ho. He wasn't all that bad, was he? Zombie Rachel, ah, I need to update my meme. Oh, she also looks like Charles Xavier from the X-Men. I need to update my meme again. Old hag lady is leaving. That's a shame. More sadness. Tragedy. Anyway. Now, who is this suspicious ranker? He's planning to steal the 13th month series? Oh, no. Lopo Beer Ren. Oh, no. It's the Lopo Beer family. They are, of course, one of the 10 great families. But the Lopo Beer family are especially dangerous. Oh, no. He's out to kill Anak. Our girl, Anak. MVP of the entire series, Anak. And Yu Hansung is just going to let him? God damn it, Yu Hansung. Just when we were starting to like you. And then, hey, we get the results of who passed the test. All the people we wanted to. Except Rachel. She will fail because she's too injured to continue. And then, then we see what happens if you disagree with the results. Hmm. Kun, baby, genius buddy, it's up to you. He wants them to allow Rachel to continue. You see, there is a special way to do that. To take... The Administrator's Test. You see, the Administrator is the giant godlike monster that controls the Shinso on the floor. It is the monster that Bam met earlier in the series. Since the test coordinators like Yu Han Sung are essentially just their representatives, if the Administrator allows it, they can be overruled. However, there is a condition to take the Administrator's Test, and that is, you need to be an irregular. Damn, if only we had one of those! The only flaw in your plan, Kun. Or was it? Bam admits that he is an irregular, shocking everyone, except for Kun, who is very obviously acting. Oh boy, this is a great episode, so much drama. However, the test will be really tough, and no one is willing to help him. Even Kun, Kun himself. Kun says that now that he knows that Bam is an irregular, he won't help him. You see, Kun is trying to villainize himself to get everyone angry at him, so that they would agree to help Bam. But they figure him out, and they agree to help Bam anyway. Actually, in the comic, they didn't realise that Kun was acting, and they all hated him. Uh, he, Kun was made out to be a dick who had abandoned Bam. And then everyone left, and Rack was the only one who'd figured it out. That Cat Kun was just acting the whole time. Um, I wish they'd stuck with that. It, it was a bit more impressive. And, oh god, and then my main criticism of the series shows up again. Oh, Tower of God damn it! It is another completely needless cliffhanger. Bam meets a giant eye that's the eye of the administrator that we'd already seen, and the episode just ends there. Tower of God damn it. Other than that, though, which I am pretty salty about, it's a good episode. You need to stop with the pointless cliffhangers, though. They are stupid, and you're not impressing anyone. Anywho, until next time, everybody.